Hi everyone, Amy Love here, chilling in my cabin in the woods, here to do the uh, tin craft questions. Um, you know, I looked back at the last time I did a get to know me video, and it was hosted then by Crafting with Wine, and I actually had two of my closest friends at the time answering the questions themselves about me to see how well they knew me, and that was a hoot. Um, but I'm gonna take this one solo. <laughs> but I did just go back and watch that as kind of like a reminder. So super funny, super funny. So um, the first question is, what is my name? My name is Amy Love Royce. Um, I've been a Royce for almost a year. Amazing. Um, so yes, that Amy is my first name. Love is my middle name. So that's also where my channel name came up with, even though I have mentioned several times that I should change my name to Lazy Crafter. That's still on the table, but Amy Love is what we're going with right now. But those of you who are friends with me on Facebook will see Gidget on there. Gidget was my nickname in high school, and that is where I met my husband. We dated in high school. So all my friends from high school call me Gidget, so, so does my husband and his family. So that's where that comes from if you were wondering. <laughs> okay, so that's one and two. Uh, what's your favorite craft? I, I like to dabble in everything. You know, when I see something I'm inspired by, I am, let's give it a shot, let's give it a try. But I always, always come back to fabric and lace. I always do. Those, those are just my favorite things. I, I love the laces and the fabrics. It's a thing. Okay, my favorite place to shop for craft supplies is it's Hobby Lobby. Well, it's yard sales. Okay, and then it's Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is my go-to. It doesn't hurt that there's also a Starbucks in the parking lot. That's a bonus. But I love Hobby Lobby because they have all the fabrics, they have lace, and then they have all the other crafting supplies. Right? Hobby Lobby is my all-time favorite. Um, I do buy some stuff online. At some online shops, but uh, online mostly, probably Amazon. Yeah, I, I spend, I buy, I buy some stuff from Amazon. Also, I buy stuff from uh, sales on YouTube, which is like a huge thing now. But yes, I do buy from some uh, YouTubers. I buy from Rosie, Rosie's Crafty Shack. I hope I got that right, Rosie. I, I recently made a purchase from her. I love, love the stuff I got. It's amazing. I also do buy some stuff from Angel Dream Crafts, so I'll link those two below. Um, let's see. Okay, my top five craft YouTube channels. I know. So hard. I am inspired by all my friends. I am. Um, I see so many incredible things on YouTube, but I am going to list uh, the go-tos, right? my go-to's, my go-to YouTube crafty channels. Um, now, my friend Lily doesn't make uh, videos currently. I'm hoping that she will again someday. Uh, Lily Lenica, and you know what? The name of her channel is not Shabbylicious. It might just be Lily, but I'll put a link to it below. I still go back and watch Lily videos because her talent amazes me and inspires me. I love it. So I will put a link to her channel below. Also, Nicola Badalena blows my mind. I fangirl over her so hard, and I will be totally and completely embarrassed if she ever watches this video. But yes, I have a crafty girl crush on some Nicola Badalena. Just a magical crafter. She just makes just these magical little things. They, they make me so happy. So I will put a link to Nicola's channel below. I've been a fan of Nicola for a very long time. Um, also, I am always inspired by Abby at Purple Cottage Crafts. And <laughs> I consider her a dear friend of mine, so I hate to shout out the friends. You know, it's not like a friend contest, but I get inspired by Abby's videos. I have probably more, more videos on my channel where I've linked Abby's channel that inspired me more than I have anybody else's channel. It's it's been abs. So 
Purple Cottage Crafts for sure. That's three way. And okay, Trace of Sparkle, Jennifer. I love her work. It's I've loved her work for a very long time. It's very shabby. I love it so much. Um, she truly inspires me. I was blown away by a few months ago. She did a swap with Doreen uh, and they swapped muffin, altered muffin tins. I was blown away by them. I, like, I'm completely inspired. I've been trying to work on one myself that's inspired by those muffin tins. So I love, love her work. Um, is that only four? Like, I don't even remember now. But those are, those are really my go-to's. For sure. Um, my favorite color, if you've been here for any length of time and know me at all, you're already answering this question for yourself. It is most definitely pink. It is all the pinks. Pink is my signature color. And um, I like all the shades, but pale pink is probably my absolute favorite. Favorite is pale pink. Uh, my favorite crafty tools. My hot glue gun. fabri -Tac, My heat gun. My Timmy Snips and my Pokey Tool. Now, crafters know what a Pokey Tool is, okay? But in my husband's world, it's called an awl. And I broke that sucker. It's a pretty sturdy little tool. <laughs> I broke it. I don't know how. So I was trying to explain to my husband because I didn't realize that it was called an awl because for years I've called it a pokey tool. And I'm like, I broke my pokey tool. I need a new pokey tool. I'm sure they have them at like Home Depot or something. And he's like, what? What's a pokey tool? So yes, we went there. It's an awl, but it's a pokey tool. Okay. Uh, where do you get your, let me move this over just a bit, crafting love from it, this is kind of a answer to eight and nine because it's where did you get your crafting love from and when did you start crafting? Because, I mean, I'm sure I crafted long before Girl Scouts, but uh, we were stationed in Germany. My mom was a soldier and my Girl Scout leader, and we would craft in Girl Scouts, and I had a blast. I loved just creating things and hanging out with your friends and crafting. I loved it. So... I'm sure my love of crafting started there and that's when I started crafting that I can remember and enjoying it very much. Um, what has been your favorite craft so far? Well, my shabby chic dream catchers that I make with the embroidery hoops are my favorite, favorite things. I love them. I think they are beautiful. And um, I do have a shabby chic dream catcher tutorial. It's my most viewed YouTube video. So thank you. Thank you very much. But I'm going to do a new one where I use the embroidery hoop because that's the one I love the most and the one that I make all the time. So uh, that'll be coming up soon. And uh, thanks for watching everybody. I know there's uh, some of us who are just getting around to doing this, but this has been around for a while. So, you know, if you haven't done it, I encourage you to do it. Let us know a little bit about you. It's just fun to do. So thanks everybody and I will see you soon.